Hi. With this movie we will show you, how to add repeat regions with dynamic data, on your page, using DMX Zone App Connect. First, open the DMX Zone Server Connect panel, and create a new action file. Then, add a name for it. Right click steps. Open the database actions menu. And, add a database connection. Then set up your database connection options. Click OK when you are done entering the connection info. And then right click the database connection step and add a database query. Let's set up the query options. First select your database table and add it to the query. Then Add the table columns, which you need. We add all of the columns. Click the OK button, when you are done setting up your query. That's all we need, so let's save the action file. Then, open the DMX Zone App Connect panel. Open your page in Dreamweaver, select your preferred view, code, design, live, or split, and then click the Add DMX Zone App Connect to this page button. We are using split view so you can see the changes in the code. Then, right-click App. Open the data menu. And select, Server Connect. In the Server Connect properties, click the Select Server Action button. Here, you will find all of the server actions, which you've created for this site. Select the action file, with the query, which we've just created. And then, click the Select button. There are two ways of adding a repeat region on your page. The first one is to create it directly in the app structure pane. The second one is to apply the repeat region to an existing container on your page. I'll show you both of them. Let's start with the first one. Right click the server connect component in the app structure pane. Select insert after. Open the data menu. There are two repeat components available, repeat and repeat children. The repeat component repeats itself with the data inside. The repeat children component applied to a parent element in a parent child structure repeats the children elements. This is useful for unordered lists or any other parent child structure. We select the repeat component. In the properties pane, click the dynamic data picker for the expression in order to select the expression for the repeat component. Expand the server connect component to see the available data. Then, expand data. And here we see the query, which we created. Select it. And then click the select button. And we are done. Now let's find some data inside the repeat region. You can see a div has been created on our page. Click inside it and then click the insert binding button. You can see the data bindings available under the repeat component which we added. Select a data binding and click the select button in order to add it in the repeat region. We select product name. Now you can see the data which our query returns rendered on our page. Let me show you the second way of adding a repeat region on your page using an existing container. First, let's remove the repeat component which we've just created. Right click the repeat component and select delete. Then let's insert a dummy div on our page. So, now select the element on your page, which you want to repeat. In our video this is the dummy div. In the App Connect panel, under Properties, click the Add Dynamic Attribute button. Open Repeaters. And select Repeat. Click the Dynamic Data Picker button, to select an expression for this repeater. Expand your server action. And under Data, select your query. Then, click the Select button. 
and our repeater, has been added to the existing div container. Now, let's bind some data inside it. We remove the dummy text from our div. And click the insert binding button. Select any of the available data bindings, to be added inside the repeater. And click the select button. You can see the data from our query, is now rendered, on the page. That's how easy it is, to use the repeat component, available in DMX Zone App Connect.